Hey there, welcome to Concept Hunter. Today we're gonna learn how to cook everything, even though it should be how to cook anything, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. This is a game jam game, and it's essentially a condensed form of every cooking game ever. And uh, I don't I don't personally love those type of games, but I understand the appeal of those type of games. Of the you know, uh, a cooking game is like when you run a restaurant and people come over and you that they they ask for specific uh, dishes and you have to cook them and whatever. There's different stations. We'll get to see how the game works uh, in a second. But the the reason I really wanted to show you um, this this type because it does have extras. A lot of extras. They actually, it's a game jam game that actually worked on a little bit later as well, uh, after the game jam, in order to polish it up. But it is just that part of a cooking game. It is just the what what makes a cooking game a cooking game. And uh, even though it has it has extras, I kind of like to think about it. It's not entirely an MVP, and I don't want to ruin the the um, what an MVP means. An MVP is the minimum viable product. The the condensed thing that you could supposedly ship that works, that on top of it you want to throw more polish. And um, for for uh, uh, just the cooking game part, this game is, is kind of it. Um, it's not the perfect, and it's not the perfect thing, and don't, don't, you know, don't catch me on a word saying that it's an MVP when it really isn't, but it kind of feels pretty good in, in that sense. Uh, so the story, I guess, is you work the late shift at Big Bertha's Diner, the best restaurant in town, but tonight your ingredients seem strange. Calm down, you're an amateur, you could cook anything. So let's go. You got the, the different stations. Uh, you take the order, you press done, uh, which is hidden by my face, but whatever. Pick the ingredients, then you pick your ingredients, which as you can see is whatever the hell, we could take a tire or whatever. Uh, you're done picking the ingredients, then you chop them down. Notice I can press down from the start, so I don't actually have to chop them down in any way. Then you cook it. This is the part of the cooking game where you just put it somewhere and then you just have to wait for it to cook. And um, while you're doing that, you can go over to different, different tasks. So put that, we're done. I don't actually have to chop it at all, I can put that over here, and then you just go through the motions of continuing to do that. The reason these games work and are fun is because you have the immediate sense of, of completion, of progression. It is so strong. I mean, I'm, I'm doing something. I'm doing something all the time, even though I'm kind of behind and kind of, or, or maybe not, not doing much. But because it's supposedly small mini games, and it is kind of that, every station has a different purpose and a different thing you need to do, even if the thing that you need to do is just wait. And that's what you do here. You just wait. That's enough. And then the next station is busy, cause so I can't press done. Um, here you could, you know, put mustard or or ketchup or blow an air horn, which just does a sound and nothing else, but you can't hear it. But that's it. And then you do press done. And it's a cute little feature that you could actually take a picture, take a snapshot, and save a, a PNG of this or a JP, a JPEG, whatever. And press done. And that's it. Now what's what's missing is the. Um, uh, the score screen, but it doesn't actually matter because it's essentially just a score screen. That part that's kind of important for the player to feel good about what he did, the final completion of the entire process is seeing um, the, the customer being happy with the pro what you made for him and giving you money for it and being happy, you know, a number of smileys or whatever the hell they, they put in there. But it's not essential. It's not the most important thing. The, 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 the core of this type of game is actually going through the motions of the entire process. And it's, it's done pretty well here. Um, and you kind of feel it, even though it's really stupid and you don't actually have to do much in most of the, like in Chop It, I don't have to do anything in Chop It. I pick something, I put the things on the tray and then I press done and Chop It, I don't actually have to Chop It. I could just press done immediately. It's fine. And here you just wait, which isn't the thing, but just dragging from one point to the other is enough of a thing of, of feeling good about yourself. And that's where these games work. And this is a wonderful example of that, even though you cook all of these things. And I, I, don't, I don't think there's actually, there's a gun. I don't even think that there's a score screen here because it doesn't need a score screen. And again, it's a global game jam game. They have worked on it afterwards, but it's still a very small game. There might be something after you finish all of the ingredients, but that'll take me like half an hour and I'm not going to do that. So yeah, this is how to cook everything. It's uh, totally adorable. It's a great example of how to how to take just the basics of what you need. Yeah, there's a ton of things, and you can you can chop um, each one of these things, and it chops differently and a different amount of times that you could chop it and get different parts. There's a lot of extras done here, but the core is still there, 
And that's why I, I want to very cautiously say and, and bring to your mind the thought of, of, of uh, what an MVP is, the minimum viable product, the core of a cooking game in this case. So yeah, it's called How to Cook Everything. Uh, Mike Salia did the code, Ryan Sandvik did the design, and McBride Musings did the art. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.